Welcome back. This is part two of the of creating a 2D platformer. And today or we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to actually be looking at the um, coolguygame.java file. And we're going to be adding in here, we're going to be adding a sprite. Um, and if you follow these steps, hopefully you should be able to create multiple sprites with multiple images and um, and yeah, that's the good part of this. So, uh, first I'm going to go over what kind of each method inside the class does. So, when you guys look up here, we have the public class cool game, and it implements action listener. So, it, um, so it has uh, a couple methods in there from the application listener. So, we're going to skip these uh, um, these variables real quick. So, those um, we'll actually talk about those uh, in a second. But we have create. So create is our entry point to the program. It's very similar to public static um, void main, um, and then how that's the entry point of the program. This is the in, the entry point to the class. Um, so whenever we create a brand new one, create is called, and that's where we're going to put all that information in there. Um, dispose is kind of the opposite of create. It's when the class is exited or when the app is closed or game is closed. We have render and I actually have a few things in here um, already. Um, there's one thing I didn't uh, delete that uh, I left all this here um, and I'll go over some of this right now. Um, the very first line, the one that I just highlighted, that one creates, uh, um, it clears the background. It actually makes the background white. So um, the, uh, the four values um, our RGB values from 0 to 1 and I believe the last one is the alpha value. Um, the next one is it. Um, we're basically clearing everything and we're using OpenGL uh, 1.0 uh, um, just as something that you guys should know so if you're happening to use another a newer version of this you should be using um, 2.0 or instead of having it say 10 you use to, uh, 20, um, but it stands for 2.0. The next thing is we're actually going to begin drawing things onto the screen. So the uh, the issue he, uh, he, we have here is we have batch set projection matrix. So basically, this is taking the camera and um, our drawing can, uh, canvas, which is the sprite batch, and we are making it match the screen that we have. So for example on Android um, it might not be the same screen resolution on every single um, phone we use. So this right here stretches or shrinks the screen however it needs to to uh, um, make it look nice. So we're using the camera combined matrix there and then we're going to start our drawing here and we're going to end it here. Now in the render we're also going to be doing our updates so we're going to do uh, um, updates uh, eventually here, and then uh, and then after we do the updates, we're going to do controls. So um, that is just something that we have there. So if we have a moving object on the screen, um, that's going to be handled in update. If we're pressing a button, that's going to be handled under controls. So this is kind of the order progression. Um, so the next we have is resize. Whenever we resize the window. Um, that is called, um, we are not going to be putting anything in there. Same with pause and resume. Um, pause isn't really a pause feature. It is a, um, when the, when the application itself has been paused. So if you, uh, if you're an Android, for example, and you go out, you hit the home button and it closes out the program, it really doesn't close it out. It just puts it in a pause state and that's what uh, pause does. And then resume is when you open the app again, um, it's trying to. It should pick up where you left off, but that is the resume method there. So we will not be using these right away. Pause and resume, but we will be using those eventually, especially resume. So we are going. Uh, we are going to be putting in a brand new sprite, and I actually have a sprite. And let me go grab. Ooh, shoot, I have a lot of things open right now, huh? So let me go grab him. So he's right there. That's cool guy, of course. That's cool guy right here. Let me move him over a little bit so we can, can kind of see 
um, in this context here. So I'm sorry about this. Let me shrink that up a little bit and good. So we have we have our picture here. And he's he's a PNG and he is one uh, 128 by 128 pixels um, wide. So when you're going to be creating all your images, especially in OpenGL uh, 1.0, you have to make sure that they all follow every single side follows a power of two reference. So if you're not quite sure what it is, start by counting by twos. Those are the only numbers you can use. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. So make sure that you're using your images are always that size. Okay? If you don't want your image to be that size, it's okay. We can. Uh, I'll show you eventually how to um, crop it um, inside the code. So right now we're going to be using this one. And all of our assets will be going in the Android project. So even if you have an error here for not installing Android correctly, just click here and click on Assets. And you'll see we have one here called Assets, and we're going to right-click on it. And we are going to create, we're going to create a new one. New. And we're going to be doing a new folder. And in this folder, we're going to be calling it Sprite. We're going to click Finish. So now we have a Sprite. And we are going to be dragging Cool Guy into the Sprite folder. And it's going to ask you if you want to link or copy. You want to copy it over. And now I in here I have coolguide.png. So that's great. So let's actually start getting with the code. So the first thing we're going to do is we're pretty much done with this part. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And we are going to be dealing with create. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we have these four variables. We have a sprite batch, a camera, a texture, um, an actual sprite that we're going to apply the texture to. So we're going to do camera equals new. I don't know, even know how to pronounce that. Camera. And we're going to do camera dot set. Okay. And we're going to do false. This actually makes it a little bit easier to deal the coordinates with. It's going to put the um, zero, 00 in the bottom left corner. And our width is going to be 800. And this is going to be 480. Okay, batch equals new sprite batch. That's looking good. And now we're going to do a texture. So we're going to do texture equals new texture. And we're going to put the, uh, um, I'm sorry, let me, I'm just going to refer to my notes real quick. Okay, we're going to get, get to the file. And the way we do files in libgdx is we're going to type in gdx dot files dot and this is going to be an internal file and our path is going to um, be what we type uh, what we typed in before so when we come back over here it's going to be sprite slash cool guy dot png okay. the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to do sprite equals and we're going to do new sprite and that and the sprite is going to be the texture and I'll show you guys how to do this this is actually we're taking part of the texture off um, and I'm starting at zero zero and I'm going and that's in the top left corner and I'm going 128 by 128 pixels um, I really didn't have to do that but it's something that I um, that we should get kind of get in the habit of doing. And then we'll do sprite dot set position. And let's throw the um, this guy at 150. So we um, 
So I'm going to hit save. So what we're doing here is we're loading the texture onto the sprite. So, yep, that's I think that's all I need to do. Good. So now that we've de dealt with create, we need to get rid of um, dispose, or we need to get rid of the our things when we close the program. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do batch dot dispose, and we're going to do texture dot dispose. Now I don't know. I Sprite doesn't have a dispose, as you can see. If you start typing the variable and it doesn't have one, it's okay. Just leave it off. It's just just good practice to keep on trying that. Now, now we need to do render. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do Sprite dot draw, and then we're going to put batch in here. So we're going to draw the sprite to the batch. We're going to click on save. Come back here to our main method. And we're going to run this. If we did this correctly, cool guy is now loaded onto the screen and that's and that's it. Well, hopefully you guys found this a little bit helpful. Um, if um, try to add more um, at, try to add more sprites to the screen at the at, uh, and try to actually try to try to create a picture of it. It really does help. That's kind of that extended learning there. Um, next time we're going to actually be talking about getting our character into a class and talk a little bit about object-oriented programming. So until next time, um, have fun.